Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Susha and today I'm doing a short video on how to prepare for organ recital. And this video is dedicated to Rin Schalk Weig. Well, uh, thanks Rin for asking and thanks for taking interest in how I am preparing for my organ recitals. Well, usually the main and the most important thing for me is to be prepared in advance. And what I mean about preparing in advance, that all the pieces must be ready, well, at least a week before my recital. Because you never know what will happen on your recital day. It might be too hot to practice, uh, you know, you might be sick and have fever. And I'm talking all these things about from my real experience. So, be ready in advance. Then, you know, if something, something unexpected will happen, you can just turn on your autopilot and everything will be just fine. Well... Another thing what is very important for me, you know, to save energy before recital. So what I mean by it, that, you know, you don't need to spend a few hours on your organ each day. Basically, in order to compensate the time and energy, I do a lot of mental preparation and what I mean by mental preparation is that I really know my music well and by saying that I mean that I know you know how the piece is put together I know all the key structure how the keys changes throughout the piece I know everything about harmony everything you know about tempos and all that kind of stuff and, you know, another important thing is that I sing what I play. And not I'm singing it aloud, but I'm singing it uh, in my mind, actually, each single melody. If, for example, piece has four voices, it means I can sing any of those voices at any time. And if I can, you know, sing all my music from memory, from the beginning to end, it means that I'm ready. Well, that gives me, you know, plenty, plenty, plenty of time actually to prepare because I don't have to sit at actual organ. I can do it while doing other things, for example, walking or, you know, taking public transportation or, you know, driving my car. I can, you know, be with my music no, in, in my mind. Another thing, of course, you no, know, the actual practicing at the organ, what I tend to do is I'm tending to practice slowly. And uh, because I know my music really well and I know my strengths and weaknesses well too, I know what I have to work in any particular piece. So basically what I'm saying that I rarely play a given piece from the beginning to the end. I always work only on the hardest spots. That also gives me you no know, time. I save time and I can do you no know, more pieces with it. So never ever play the piece from the beginning till the end. Of course you have to do that a few times you know, before the actual recital but but not when you are practicing and preparing for one. Another thing that helps me, you know, to prepare for recitals, and it's very important, you really need to keep in mind the actual organ on which you will perform a given piece. It's, you know, it's also very important because uh, you need to think in advance on which manuals you will perform. You know, if if you know organ has more than one or more than two manuals and prepare for the right position because some some sometimes it can give you a hard time you know if for example you are working on trio sonata and playing always you know the 
right hand on the second manual and you know the left hand on the first manual because maybe on the organ where you will have to perform it alive you will have to switch hands maybe you will have to you know to play the left hand an octave for example lower and do things like this so you really need to think about registration in advance and you know to practice in various combinations well also another thing you know about uh, Performing a recital and preparing to a recital is, you know, to make your program that audience would enjoy it and that you enjoyed it yourself. And what I mean by it, you know, you need to play varied repertoire. You know, that there would be technically challenging pieces, virtuosic pieces, loud and fast, but also that you would have, you know, soft music meditative in character and you have sort of you know to do variety of stuff because if you will only play everything in one style you risk that after 10 or 15 minutes or after half an hour you know your audience will just stand up and leave your recital and there will be no applause at the end because everybody will just leave during your play so so these are basic tips that helps me, you know, to pre prepare for my recitals. I hope you will find them useful and thanks for watching and for listening. See you next time. Bye-bye.